thank you so much for joining me today. So in this video, I'm really excited to share with you five ways that minimalism has completely changed my life for the better. I used to be somebody who had a lot of things, specifically books. I was a book hoarder and uh, stuff, lots of clothes and just a mind that felt cluttered and minimalism has completely changed and healed all that. I'm excited to share this with you in hopes that it's inspiring for you and supports you maybe on your own journey to voluntary, involuntary simplicity and in minimalism. If you're new to this channel, my name is Tumi and I'm a medical doctor and a dancer and I love to create videos on holistic health, holistic healthy living. I infuse it with my dance as well as minimalism and plant-based living, especially raw veganism. So my lifestyle, if this is of interest to you, um, subscribe for more videos. But let's get into today's video. Five ways in which minimalism completely has changed my life. So the first way might seem a little strange and maybe one you don't hear of very often, but minimalism really helped me to achieve and sustain my ideal weight. Uh, I think of weight as being part of healthy living, especially when you take deprivation out of the picture, which is what I did, and minimalism helps so much with that. I have a video around minimalism and eating, and I will leave that link in the description box down below or at the end of this video for you to check out a little bit more about that connection. But I will share with you in this video that when I was able to simplify, think of minimalism as voluntary simplicity, I brought that simplicity into the way I eat. I chose more vibrant, simple, unprocessed, and that translated to healthy foods, and that translated to an easeful achieving and sustaining of my perfect weight. The second way minimalism completely upended my life in the best way possible is freedom. I felt and I still feel such a mental freedom living a life of increased simplicity, voluntary, which means it's my choice to live in this simple way. I don't have as much mind clutter as I used to before. And I also free, feel freed up in a really practical way. Everything I own fits in a duffel bag and has done that for the past four, five years since I've been traveling full time with my sweetheart. I have a video actually on everything I own fitting into that duffel bag and I'll leave that also in the description box down below to see how I do that. But having less things has translated to more freedom for myself. And we have the opportunity to live in the most beautiful places in the world. And a big part of that is living simply and having less stuff. The third way that minimalism has changed my life has been through giving me increased creativity. And I've always loved creating poems, dances, and I found that my creativity deepened even more, or maybe my spaciousness around creativity increased even more on this lifestyle of minimalism. And I think it has to do again with decreased mind clutter and worry. And also, I think that also when you have less stuff, less things, you get creative with the things, the few things that you have. You become pickier about what you choose, how you choose to spend your time, and what you choose to purchase or consume. I'll be making a video really, really soon, and I'll be making it on how I use five items in my wardrobe to create a bunch of different outfits. Many people say, how do you create so many different outfits with just 30 pieces of clothing? That's all I own. I own less than 30 pieces of clothing, maybe even 20. And I do it easily and I found that I even create more creative and interesting um, looks because I have less items to play with. So less is more is really a truth for me. That's been my experience. So increased creativity is something that I have experienced on this journey. The fourth way that um, minimalism has changed my life is that it's deepened my spirituality, my connection with spirit, with the great I am, with myself, the capital M within. And I think part of that is that 
when you again have less stuff, you release your attachment of your worth to external things. And you really understand that you are enough. I am enough. You really feel the interconnectedness of all of us, of earth and self, of cosmos and self, of each being and self. Some of the things that we have, a lot of the things that we have that we cling to own can actually weigh us down and actually cause separation among us and within us. And so I felt an increased connection and an increased trust that I am taken care of. To move in the world with just a duffel bag and say I'm going to have three, three shoes and less than 20 to 30 pieces of clothing and relinquish a lot of the things that people sometimes need to feel safe, it means I have to find safety within. It means that I have to trust that universe, that God, that spirit, whoever and whatever you, you cleave to, it means that I, I deepen in that trust. And I've definitely found that to be true. So that's been an incredible gift and an unexpected gift of my journey and experience with minimalism and voluntary simplicity. And the final uh, way that minimalism has changed my life for the better is the increased feeling of abundance that I feel. I feel <sighs> gratitude every single day. Um, and there are days that are not easy in my life for sure but I feel a sense of gratitude and a sense of abundance. And that might seem ironic and strange for someone who has very little things. But again, I think there's a paradox of less being more. That when again, you're not attached to your worth being uh, fixed on external things, you recognize that your abundance flows from within. And you recognize that abundance is way more than what you own. In fact, it's none of that. It's your thoughts. It's what flows from your heart. It's what you create with your imagination and your hands and the love within. And that's been my experience on a very practical, bringing it down from that very practical level. Voluntary simplicity results in greater financial abundance. If you can live happily with less, you have more. You have more spending power. You have more in the bank because you're spending less. So I think a lot of times we think of people who have less as, oh, it must be something about being poor or not having enough money. But you can again choose to live simply. And that's my choice. And it's been my, my experience that actually choosing to live simply has created and nurtured more financial abundance in my life. And more than the finances, more love abundance, more time abundance, more presence, more abundance in presence. And that is such a gift. And I feel so thankful for that. And I hope that you can experience more of that if that's something that you hunger for. I also want to be vulnerable and share that I believe minimalism and voluntary simplicity is a practice. And one thing that I often have a challenge with in minimalism is sometimes I can go back into dropping into maximalism in the realm of digital, digital life. So what I mean by that is that I love to learn, I love to bring in and, and get in more information and sometimes that can derail my experience of minimalism in the sense that I spend too much time on the computer or on my phone reading and learning more learning more trying to get more information through PubMed I read a lot of medical journals um, trying to get the latest research and sometimes that can get in the way of actually my knowing and my intuition and also just taking a break from screen time. So it's something that I often revisit. 
something that has helped me in this realm has been practicing a weekly tech Sabbath. I have a video on my channel on that you can check out. I have a, a video on my channel also on digital minimalism. So if this is something that you find you struggle with. Minimalism is not just less stuff, physical stuff, but I think it can be also about voluntary simplicity and how much you consume, and that can include media and information. So if that is something that you resonate with, check out my video on that. Know that you're not alone and know that minimalism and the practice of it is just that, a practice. So I'd love to hear from you. I'd love to know if there's an area within minimalism that you're finding, you're finding to be a challenge for you. Leave that in the comments down below and I might make a video in the future on it if I haven't made one already. And also, if you have experienced an incredible benefit from minimalism, maybe something I shared about already or another one I haven't talked about. Please share it in the comments down below. I think it helps to inspire our community. I hope this video was helpful for you and supportive. If you enjoyed it, give it a like, subscribe for more videos like this and click the notifications bell next to the subscribe button. Also share this video if you find it to be of benefit to anyone you know. I am sending you so much love right now in gorgeous Slovenia, despite the whirring of lawnmowers around me. Take care.